Okay, uh, why did you leave the purple? Have you heard the last album? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More. But, but you left before. Yeah, same reason, really. Um, I found it incredibly boring. Um, it got to the point where it just ran out of steam, and I think we should have put more into it. And the general mood was that they wanted... They had this idea about Deep Purple should do this one kind of song. You know, it's always just mid-tempo groove, stuff, yeah. you know. And there was no excitement, no danger, no thrills. And it was just straight down the line. And it got incredibly boring, I'm afraid to say. Right. It's in the song. Only... Well, that was the deal. Um, I met Tony Iommi and Geezer Butler one day, and um, we had a few drinks. And... Uh, Somehow I got home, and the next day I had a phone call from my manager saying, uh, if you're going to make these important career decisions, I think we should, you know, have at least a conversation first. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you agreed to join Black Sabbath yesterday. So apparently we had too much to drink, and uh, <laughs> that was the deal. But uh, the arrangement was one year, one contract, one tour. And uh, it was one of the best times of my life. Um, Even if it was good? But successful? Yeah. Just one album? Yeah, because by that time we were already arranging the Deep Purple reunion. Ah, and okay, so that okay. was the focus, you see. Um, but it was great, you know. I mean, and I think the great achievement of that year was the fact that we were almost entirely the inspiration for Spinal Tap. <laughs> yeah, truly. Included right from the Stonehenge and everything else. Yeah, I think it was... I'm very proud of that. Very proud. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. What's your, your lyrics? Talk about the very essence of life, I would say. Yeah. Whatever very... the very essence of life. We need one needs a little inspiration from time to time. And uh, if you a good inspiration. A good inspiration gives you uh, a different insight into things. Listen, music is very personal and I think you just tell tell it the way you feel it, really. And uh, hopefully try and keep away from too many cliches and every now and again you coincide with public taste and you get a hit record. It's great. Yeah. Talking about the records, what's your favorite purple record? <laughs> <laughs> Fireball. Fireball? Yeah. Very good record. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It was very significant. Very. You never came over Brazil with Deep Purple. Of course, I wanted too much money. <laughs> too much money? Too much money. And that's all they were thinking about. Money, 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 all the time. All the... <laughs> How was your first time in here, in Brazil? Not enough money. <laughs> Not enough money. <laughs> that's why you came, came back again. Listen, it's great. Brazil is like a dream. It's, it, it's almost an impossible thing. When we were kids growing up in England, Brazil was one of those romantic countries, you know, where, uh, if you like football, of course, it's, the, it's heaven, you know, because the, the purest form of football for English people is Brazil. And, uh, used to be. Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter about the reality. Let's dream on, you know. It's okay. And, uh, then the music and the people and the spirit of the nation and everything else, it's, uh, it's one of those places that you would think you would never go to, like Japan and, um, heaven.